Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a, a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising, a week tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Leo, that is going to be the Judgment card, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. We do have the Ten of Cups. Third card standing as the positive aspect of your week here, that is to be the Wheel of Fortune. And then the last card that represents the um, guidance that Tarot is offering for you guys, that is to be the Queen of Swords. All right, so um, judgment as a uh, general topic here is going to be catalyzed by the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Formation, active neutrals, and it looks like that there should be that, that there will be some sort of a, a redirection of attention or redirection of resources that you will have to do throughout the week. That is because of a, a certain, probably a, a sudden insight or a, a certain circumstances that have came out of nowhere. And uh, uh, how can I put it? Well, it, it will happen like this. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. It will happen like this, that, you know, you are doing a specific endeavor and you enjoy doing it, but there is nothing wrong with it. But suddenly something more important came up on the horizon, something that is going to yield better results, something that is going to give you a more things to hope for, let's say, or more things to look forward to. And so you pull out resources of that current uh, task of yours and start incorporating them into the uh into the new perspective um this new perspective should be a or this new activity i would say it should regards to um to a task or it should regards to a situation that previously have been set on how for one or another reason there was there were no way how you can proceed forward with it and it could it, it have been set like set on how and now the time has came that actually a breakthrough have been reached and it will require your immediate attention either regarding career or either regarding relationship now important thing here to be said it is that um some of you um may kind of find it a bit inappropriate to appear at that particular uh, at that particular time. So what I can say here, it is that either way or rather like either of those activities, the current one or the one that it is appearing at that particular point are going to be a, a good activities for you. Though. So they are going so they both are going to be productive and you may hate, you know, putting the current one on how to and uh, attending to the previous one, if that makes sense. Oh my God, I probably sounds a bit confusing. Uh, <clears throat> Instead of you know finishing what you're doing right now and then going back into the uh, into the 
old situation which have been set on hold back in the days but now it's uh, kind of like has an, a, a chance to be stirred back again uh, it has a breakthrough this um, this this breakthrough is going to most likely involve certain corporate cooperation or a union as well it could be as well reunion all right so a big chances for reconciliation but not necessarily just so i don't want to uh, raise your hopes high it will be a reconciliation for some of you but not for all of you guys so bear in mind that it may appear in any field of your life you know whatever have been stuck back in the days now throughout this week is going to have a chance to uh, achieve a significant like said breakthrough so the next card here stands as a challenges and we do have the ten of cups here and it is accompanied by the um, eight of uh, pentacles and like I said, you may hate that you have to abandon your current performance, you know, and redirect your resources as time, money, attention, if you want to say, efforts into the uh, into the breakthrough that appears regarding to the situation that have been put into how back in the days. So these two cards here are representing exactly that, that you may not find enjoyment into it. Um, and also you may as well have a significant doubt uh, it's it's really worth it i mean uh, these two cards here point that you have probably already gave up and you probably already forgot about you know the uh, how do i say it oh my god that word just jumped out of my head So uh, the, either the lucrivity or the happiness that uh, the situation that have been put back into house uh, can produce for you, right? And the, the, the productivity, the efficiency of, uh, of the previous enterprise. And uh, that being said, you may find it hard to keep on, um, to, to, to put your plan into motion in regards to it. So if I have to give you an example, well, the most trivial one is, uh, is to be that, um, you know, you have dated a specific person back in the days, things didn't work out for one or another reason because they had to travel somewhere, let's say, all right? And so although uh, a bit disappointed, <clears throat> you keep on with your life, you start dating other people, and right now probably you're flirting with someone else, and that person uh, which you have dated back in the days appears to be in the town again, and they, it does look like that they're gonna settle at that point. And there you go, you have your breakthrough, you have to redirect your attention from the one that you're flirting right now to the one that it is back here again, because when that thing had been set in house, it did, it did not give any indication that it had to be broken. <clears throat> And here it is the uh, aggravation in the anointment that, you know, you have to change directions once again. And uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, that is a bit of a challenging position here to initiate the plan or the enterprise itself that took a long, long time to develop, not to mention that you may find difficult to exert conscientiousness into it and to look into the minor details as well into it also. But on the plus end, we do have the Wheel of Fortune that is to be accompanied here by the Eight of Wands. And uh, we have passive supporters here. That is your thing. I mean, that is your opening, guys. That is your moment. It is what this week is going to give you. It's, uh, it's a big wake up call. All right. It's a big a, it's it will be in regards to a big circumstances happening that are to offer you a once in a lifetime change. The good thing about these two cards is that you can just throw yourself into it completely. I mean, because they are on the positive end, it doesn't look like that there will be any jeopardizement, if I may express myself that way, into any of your current possess, uh, possessions that you do have. So you don't have to sacrifice anything. You don't have to give up on uh, on anything that is to yield results for you. But instead, you know, you can kind of like go and, and, and take advantage of this 
change uh, of this no it's not even change but of this opportunity of a the faith that is uh, <clears throat> that have been given to you by the universe it's uh, it's remarkable i mean that that week for you leo it's truly going to present you with the option available that you do require to make a significant progress in your life either regarding career and either regarding a relationship now the thing is also with the will of fortune and the eight of wands it is that if you uh, kind of screw it up the first time i mean throughout the week you're you're gonna have another opportunity to make the things right but that doesn't mean you know that you have to be careless and reckless as well <clears throat> but instead um you know try to how how can i say it Try to exert devotion. Was I was I was about to say? I mean, if you if we're following the example here of an an old flame coming in into town, when you start interacting with them once again, I try to show that you do have the devotion and determination to bring the things to the very end this time around. And the last card, it is about the guidance here, that is to be the Queen of Swords, accompanied with the Lover's card. We do have an active supporters once again. So um, it, it does refer to the decision making of redirecting resources, redirecting your attention, redirecting your money, you know, you're redirecting your love, if you will. And uh, it refers to the difficulty of making that decision. <clears throat> Because as we saw in the uh, in the second position of the challenges is going to be a bit challenging for you to believe that things are to work out. Well, these two cards here are pointing that should you follow what you want, okay, uh, you are going to find way, uh, find the way, excuse me to uh, make the things right or to push the things through that will reside into the vast experience you have from the past vast experience in relationships vast experience into uh, in career endeavors not to mention that once you start pushing your things through into that direction into this thing that took a long time to be developed many um obstacles and many issues that had to be and that are yet to be and uh, addressed i would say undressed but they are to be addressed no longer have to be addressed because they will simply lose relevance for example the the issues of money you know for example the issues of love as well because the judgment always gives one the substantial breakthrough that one needs the substantial breakthrough that one desires and one have to have to take it so it looks like a, a week of a uh, like said breakthrough a, a week of a huge wake up call for you guys and it will be a shame if you don't answer the call so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.